Time for war. Yeah, I was like really going back and forth in my head. Like, do I want to do Kirby or Advance Wars? And then I thought like, <clears throat> if I do three hours or plus of Advance Wars, I'm going to get burnt out. Because I'm not super great at this game. So I decided, uh, let's split it. And that way, now I could stagger the uploads over the next couple days. And actually have content for my YouTube channel. I have not touched this since the first stream. I did not do any War Room stuff at all. Holy hell, that's a lot louder. Then, uh... My controller's rumbling. Does it... Oh, yeah, it does! Wow, I didn't notice that. The controller's... The controller actually has set rumble. Yeah, when the names show up and when Max was punching the, the punching bag, the controller, like, actually rumbled when he was punching it. Opening animation is so good. I wish the whole game looked like this. I know that's a, that's kind of a wish a lot of people had. I don't mind the look of this game though. That being said, I kind of wish there was a second one, like for when you get to two. Apparently, the bonus case you could buy is just literally the maps made for Advance Wars Two. All oh, right. Well, it's because they already used the phrase from the first game in the shop. So it's like, if you go back in there... Welcome. <laughs> Come buy some Shush. What? Oh my god, I forgot how many there were. were had Is there a quicker way? Yeah, you can just press down. Yeah, because I guess it was called Special Case in both games. And then the bonus case... They, they needed a second word for it. So they were like, oh, let's call it the bonus case. Be nice. Be nice. Okay, you're not old. Special is the Famicom Wars maps. Ah. But those were in the original Advance Wars as well, because that was this. You could buy the special case there. <clears throat> also, if I'm too loud, let me know. Air Ace. This is as far as Vinny got. It's, it's weird. Vinny and I got the exact same length in our stream of this. Serious new foes appeared at the bay. Time to fight or flight. Or both. I don't remember. I, I, I forgot that eagle shows up before you finish the blue moon part. Too much water, zero out of ten. <laughs> The area appears to be occupied by unidentified forces, sir. Well, that's not good. Didn't Nell say this area was empty? As in, no enemies? Andy. Come in, do you copy? No. There are hostile forces here. So it seems, but those... Those aren't Blue Moon troops. I'll see what I can find out. Hold your position. If you need it, we have a base here you could use as a last resort. As a last resort? Why would you use the base as a last resort? You should be deploying your shit immediately. Well, when you can. There's a base there, too. Actually, do you know if, um... That's weird. I don't remember the rumble being so pronounced the first time, but, like, I'm moving over squares and I'm feeling rumble in the controller. That's interesting. Do you know if, um, Sonya's missions are... So Is it Son? It's Sanja, right? It's not pronounced Sonya, right? Do you know if her missions are still, like, unlockable, rather than just being required? Because I remember in the original Advance Wars, you needed to beat all of Kanbei's missions under a set time limit to, uh, do her campaign. Which is weird, because it makes the Yellow Star campaign, like, half as long if you don't do it. <laughs> Bold of you to put- oh, well, they put a tank right there. They're required now, not a secret. Okay. I'm guessing the same with Rivals at the end. Was Rivals an optional? I actually can't remember. I think it was. Okay, I'm kind of wary about how they set this up, because they really made this so you could just kind of roll in and start wrecking him. Here. 
I figured, because of the way the game is set up now, you could just replay missions, so it feels kind of silly to just have unlockable ones when you could just unlock them normally. Originally, if you unlocked rivals, you were forced into it, yeah. Can't wait to see how awful I do during, during that final... Not rivals, but the one before it. Oh, I have a lander. Okay. Uh, or not a lander, a transport copter. Lander's the ocean one. Uh, but we got tanks. Oh, we got missiles up there, too. Okay. I think I looked. Alright, I'll be safe if I move this copter over here. This stuff seems to you beat all missions on all patch, you get rivals. Well, wait, is it is the, are are there like skippable missions? Because it sounded like there weren't. Range isn't too good. All those air units are over there too. Hmm. All right, let's move the missile forward. Yeah, they really bottleneck you at the beginning here. <sighs> moving those moving those mechs up there could be risky. You'll see today. Ah, got it. Oh, you can only load one. Oh, uh, the lander's the, the only one that could do two. Okay. could fire right there. I don't want to... Can fire in copters, but it's not effective. Okay. Up there. Wait, why couldn't I dr drop onto there? Oh, whatever. Do I think the air units are going to come this way? You know what? We don't have much maneuverability here, so... Just do it. Okay, yeah, the lander's the only one that can hold two units. Ah, shoot. Well, now I can anti-air that one at least. Oh, wait, no, I can't. It's too low. <laughs> that was a dumb move. Oh, wait, no, it is. It's right on the coast. Okay. Actually works out really well, except now we got that that coming over here. Oh, no, those aren't good. Can I... Can this... No, it's one space... Sh Why'd I move it? If I'd left it where it was, it would have been perfect. So jets can only fire on other aerial units, yeah. Can only engage other air units. Their movement range is the highest of all units. That also means that I could pretty much... Hmm. Well, if I move my copter, they're, they're pretty much harmless. Can I engage? No, you can't. Copters cannot engage uh, fighters. Copters can engage other copters, though. But I also don't want to put myself in range of the missiles. But if I move anywhere near those, they're going to shoot me down. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 
probably won't be possible to keep my cop copter safe here. Actually, no, if I move it down here, it will. If I move it within range, and no, I can't get that far. How far can they reach? I put myself in the factory, they can't get me. There we go. Oh right, Eagle. I keep forgetting. He he gets buffs to his uh his aerial units, so This guy who joined the Air Force to honor his father's legacy. His air units are matchless, but he has weak naval units. Eagle's air units gain plus 15 to firepower, plus 10 to defense. Have negative 2 fuel costs per day, but naval units suffer minus 20 to firepower. Likes Lucky Goggles, hates swimming. Lightning Drive. Eagle's non-foot soldiers units that have already carried out unit orders can move again. However, all of units have a decreased firepower and defense. And yeah, he gets buffed uh, air units, nerfed naval units. These can't. No, they can't. Straight up says you can't. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm one square short. I was like, why can't I get there? These two infantries are... Oh, there's a bomber there, though. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I fucked up. Reset turn. Eh. You know what? Now's a good time to tr show that off. I haven't tried it yet. You choose reset turn, the match will return the way it was at the start of the turn. Choose reset turn. Okay, very little fanfare there, but yeah, there we go. So you could just, okay, you could just do that unlimited times, huh? All right. This artillery is useless because I can't fire on air units. Yeah, I'm not off to the best of starts here, but... Here to take that thing out. Forgot about that.
got them. We got them baited into good positions here. We can take those two out. Oh, and then the other one just kind of went in the middle. All right. All right, go off, I guess. Oh, dear. Andy, I know you've... Ugh. Andy, I know who you... Whoa! It's like me trying to do auditions. I'm, like, flubbing the read twice before I pronounce the word correctly. Oh, dear. Andy, I know who you've encountered. Those are Green Earth Troops. I heard rumors there was an independent battalion roaming about. I believe you've found them. Watch out for their air units. They're supposed to be brutal. You're a little late with that intel now. Oh, no. Are you already under attack? Well, um, good luck. I'm sure you'll figure things out. No. No? She left me. Well, I guess it's all on me now. Wow, it was well time to get that power, too. Oh, they destroyed my missiles. <laughs> anyway, let's take you out. Huh? Six. <laughs> Damn it! I moved the APC, <laughs> Not the artillery. No biggie. Well, I have no air units left, so these things are completely useless at this point. Let me take out the uh, copter since they can attack ground units. That means this bomber's getting another attack. Won't take out my medium tank, though. I know it won't. No, it went for the APC, which is kind of weird. It's always... The AI always does that. Always always prioritizes APCs. Okay. That base is a problem up there. APCs are a magnet, just like the original, yeah. Dang, if only. Alright, let's take out that one, because it's got more health. We don't have a ton we could do here right now. We gotta get we gotta get over to that corner before it starts overloading troops here.
tank. Those are only good against aerial units. That thing's just a sitting duck. And we got a... Is that a medium tank? Yes, it is. Alright. Let's just move ourselves right there. Perfect. Send the anti air up just because they're getting foot soldiers. This thing's on a base, on a city, so probably not the smartest move to attack it. Let's go after the infantry. Toss you a link to the Easter egg video. Cool. Check that out. Denton in it, and then I'll put the other two in place. Good, and it's it still lived. There's rockets ready. Only that tank was one space lower. Oh, I don't have a lot of money here. Okay, I've got to take it easy. Shit. Alright, the artillery's gonna get me. Tank did not go for me, though. Very interesting choice. Should put me on the advantageous ground there. You see there is bait.
hold off on making any more. Oh no, those are rockets. All right, I was gonna say, do you make missiles? Why? Here, get some money back. There we go. No, I can't break through that. We're gonna need some firepower here. Ready for attack. Lightning drive. We didn't really do much there. Plus now he's reduced defense, so... Drive that unit over here. I'm mean, kind of in the clear. We can just kind of bum rush the the base. 
and block them with the rest of the units. Journey ahead will be tough, but I am undeterred. But you are unturred. You are underturred. You know what? Maybe I should just leave this like this, because then this rocket's stuck here with low HP and attack. And nothing can... Well, the artillery can hit me. Never mind. I might be uh, out of luck. gonna destroy the tank and then all these units are just gonna roll right in mm, maybe not the smart idea to do here but I can destroy this never mind fuck well we'll do what we can here No one really needs the repair. Move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Decent wall here, but I'm not sure. Get the, you know what? No. It's gonna have him go up there. Essentially sacrificing my other units, but I don't care. 
I'm gonna demonstrate my skill. Yeah, they're all they're all going after the foot dudes. I don't even think they're trying to get to the tank. This. There's no way any of his units are reaching the, the, the mech in two days, so we've won this. Half-assed it all the way through, but we won it. If I had fucked up with the, uh, the, the health transport copter at the beginning, I probably could have beaten this way quicker. <laughs> Much else we could do here. Hardly seems possible. No. It's you, Andy. Yeah. Finally, someone who knows my name. But who are you? Don't play dumb with me. Boy, I'll never forgive you for what you've done. Huh? So continuing to feign ignorance, eh? Very well. Enjoy your ruse. The next time we meet will be the last. Hey, wait up! He's gone. Yeesh, what was that all about? That was painful. Who was that guy? At least he got my name right. The fact that I got over 200 points is a miracle there. Ash versus Faulkner is going in an unexpected direction. <laughs> need more COs. You don't get those till you beat the game, though. Ah, split pads. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. Who are you? I'm Max, a CO in the Orange Star Army. I was ordered to back you up, so here I am. 
My backup, huh? What's so special about you? You get right to the point, don't you, pal? I'm the king of direct combat. Need someone to mix it up? I'm the best. And when I really get rolling, max force boosts my firepower even higher. <laughs> God damn it. Couldn't even make it a minute before making a joke like that. Oh gee, I hope a tank doesn't come out from nowhere and own me! That's right. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but why focus on the negative? It's time to choose the next battle. Looks like we have two options. Max strikes and Max strikes Andy. Oh, wait, what? That's interesting. So they count like the different CO options as separate missions. But also they're different difficulties. Okay. That's uh that's very much different from the original. Max's tanks are always grade A, but this particular battle will be won at C. All pre-deployed. Ma Andy map's considered easier. Yeah, it's two stars. Max is, uh... Three. Well, hello there, Max. Nice to see you helping out. Yeah. How you doing now? Now that I'm here, what's the kid gonna do? <laughs> oh, Max, you haven't changed a bit. Don't get too cocky. Andy may be young, but he's already quite the capable CO. If you're not careful, he may just pass you up in the ranks. Do you need a refresher course on C units? That's what I'm here for. You remember APCs and transport copters, right? Use landers the same way, but you can load any type of ground units onto a lander. It can even carry two. Let's load this medium tank first. Go ahead and select it. Now you can load that unit into the lander. Mm -hmm. It's really weird that the shoals are now just beaches, because now the, the, na the naval units are just, like, on the beach. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty handy, eh? There's still room for one more unit, but there's one other thing you have to pay attention to. You can u load units onto a lander only at shallow shorelines like these. These are called beaches. Y yeah, who, who doesn't know what a beach is? Eventually you'll have a seaport to load and supply units at, and uh, until yeah, whoa. Eventually you'll have a seaport to load and supply sea units at, but until then you'll have to use an APC unit for fuel and ammunition. Let's move on to something else that packs quite a punch. Can you select this battleship? Do you notice that the unit has a very large attack range? Bingo! Battleships have an attack range of two to six bases, but battleships are indirect units, so your attack range is a bit smaller than other for other COs. I prefer to get in close. You are close, Max. Close enough. Just stay put and fire on the enemy battleship. Yeah, he has, um... Pretty sure he has reduced, uh... Power for indirects. Battleships are critical to controlling the seas. Make sure you keep them safe from any enemy submarines. <laughs> yeah, subs are tricky. Bandy doesn't know much about them. I wouldn't be so arrogant if I were you. I've seen you in indirect combat situations. Submarines? Max? Mm -hmm. Subs use direct fire to engage the enemy. They can fire only on other sea units. Select this one first. Whip this enemy and fire when you're ready. Yeah, subs would be a direct unit. Great job. As you can see, subs can inflict heavy damage, and did you know they can also dive underwater? When a sub dives, it can only be attacked by cruisers and other subs, and since submerged subs can still attack, they're even more deadly. You should try diving with your other sub. See how close you can get to the enemy battleships. Oh, and there's one more things I have to one more thing I have to say about sea units. Sea units all use one unit of fuel every day. If they run out of fuel, they'll sink, and you'll lose that unit. When a sub dives, it uses five fuel units per day. Watch your fuel closely, and be careful. Don't worry if you can't remember everything. Don't worry if you can't remember everything. We all forget things from time to time. I'm here for all the little reminders. I can handle this. No problem. He's the war boy. He's the one who... fires. If subs had a direct weapon and an indirect weapon, how would Max affect them? Good question. It's 
the weird looking, like that model of that sub looks so plain and, and weird. Oh, he's just got battleships out the wazoo here. Okay, so that's entirely going to just be up to these units. He loaded up a medium tank, but, like, what the fuck is the point? This area is so heavily fortified. That's suicide for that, uh... Oh, never mind. All these are pretty much, uh going and dry on each other. Well, I mean, the, the I don't know, because the buffs apply per unit. If a weapon had indirect and direct damage on the same unit, I would imagine the direct attacks would just be buffed and the indirects would not. But since no unit has both types, they really don't have to differentiate. This wall is kind of, like, useless. Max, the, these units are the... getting, like, the... Yeah, those tanks, unfortunately, still have quite the range, but they pretty much won't be doing any damage. Well, they will, but Max... Max can handle it. If I had dropped the unit there, I probably could have captured next turn. Oh well. Body warrior water. Only naval and air units can traverse seas. Uh, ships have a larger attack range than even rocket units. Subs are difficult to find. Only cruisers and other subs can target them. Buff individual weapons, neat idea. Yeah, because, like, most units have two that have... Gaze upon my wondrous army! Orange Star may match me in numbers, but they possess only a fraction of my power. Well, you're not very well balanced. What happens if Orange Star sends their subs underwater? That should stop you cold. My battleships rule the sea! Is there anything more I need? Ah, there we go. There's the arrogant Olaf. No, nothing at all! Attack, attack, attack! Play he like a dog with his favorite bone. As long as you're happy, boss. Why oh, he's got Blizzard already? Damn. The fury of nature. Blizzard. I mean, the reason no units have both types of weapons is to keep it simple. This game is not really supposed to be super, uh, super complex. I will say, it's more complex than I was, uh, expecting when I first played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your shots. Literal, take your shots. Ah, oh, shit, that tank's not gonna be able to reach me- reach him, is it? Oh, no, I can. Okay. Well, let's take it out. That wasn't the medium tank, was it? Where's the medium tank? Oh, none of those were medium tanks. Silly me. Wow, even the... Even the, even the naval units are kind of, uh... Screwed six ways from Sunday here. Well, if basically it's Blizzard as soon as he loses one battleship. Kind of nuts, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. You know what? I'm gonna use, we're gonna use the handy reset turn one more time. I should not have attacked that battleship. I mean, to be fair, like, the save scumming bit. Actually, wait a minute. 
I just realized something. You can't, uh, you can't save scum in this like you could in the original. Advanced Wars always had a, a save, like, you could just save scum in that, like, advanced, like, in, uh, Robot Wars. I'm gonna dive, because otherwise this thing's gonna get destroyed. Can I fire? Oh, two spaces away. Why can't I fire on that? Anything to weaken the battleships up a bit. It's helpful. Dare they? Nobody plows through my army like that. Hit them back! Okay, good. Good. Yes, waste the battleships on them. Perfect. Took the bait. That unit was pretty much done for. Enthusiastic strongman who is loyal and earnest. He's unmatched when it comes to direct combat, but weak over distances. Maxes direct combat units, excluding foot soldiers, gain plus 50 to firepower. His indirect combat units suffer minus 1 to attack range and minus 10 to firepower and defense. Likes weight training, hates studying. Maxes non-foot soldier direct combat units, gain plus 35 to firepower and plus 10 to defense. Non-foot soldier direct combat and transport units gain plus 1 to movement range. His other units gain plus 10 to firepower and defense. So he gets a lot of uh, a lot of weird. He gets a lot of buffs because his his, his nerfs are so heavy. Anyway, probably shouldn't use Max Force earlier, but whatever. You're gonna get hurt.
Gonna get him exposed to those rockets, though. Supposed to the shit. Painfully small CO meter. Blizzard. Okay, good. The indirects all went for the, uh, well, they went for smaller units. These can't really do anything other than attack other naval units, so we're just gonna do that. Get rid of those. Everything's got one HP left, so really isn't gonna do a ton of damage no matter what gets in its range anymore. Let's not let this enemy overwhelm us! Should've been moving that battleship up there to begin with.
right, minus one range, shit. Beam Tank's not gonna be able to take anything out, everything out. Hold out. Dude, that puts me in range of that. If I don't move, this thing can't hit anything, so... Staggering at this point. So angry when he gets hit.
that's only got 5 HP, though. It's like 4 turns. Well, I mean, I don't think they could... They're not gonna be able to get up, get up. Because they only have indirects left. Oh, wait, no, they have a tank. delay before stuff happens. Okay. Biggest threat neutralized. We're good. I might even have to capture. I'll probably just take out these two remaining units. Good at this, huh? <laughs> I got single infantry left. I think he's good. Send some snow over there. No, no more snow. It's almost May. All right, this is over. We're done. Missile's doing! Get out there! Fight! Say it was warm, ew. It's been, like, breezy here. Like, normal. But it should be in April. Whew, that was close. Yes. How's that? What do you think of that power? Max, there's no way I could do that much damage. Let's do it. That's right. As long as I didn't use my indirect combat units, that is. <laughs> oh, you. That's exactly right, Andy. Max doesn't use indirect combat units because he's clumsy. And your range of fire is small, too. That's life-threatening, isn't it? I'll just do fine without relying on those units. Wonder about that. At any rate, excellent work, Max. Now you two work together and try to get along. Come on. You are the lady. Let's stop fighting and do this, Andy. <laughs> I think she was talking to you, Max. That about wraps it up. I'm getting t over 200 points. I'm satisfied. That's that's as good as I can expect myself to do. B for Bengus. Oh, wait, what? Advanced Burb. Hey, Sour Cream. Why is your name different? Wait, so how do I get back and do the other one now? Grit? Grit? Where is that gun toting fool? For chaos. All right, fair enough. Right here, boss. What's all the hollering about? <sighs> hollering? Let me tell you something, you smart mouth. My apologies, Exalted Commander. I am at your service. Yes. That's better. You just remember your place. Now listen closely. The other path opens after the final battle. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So they handled it a bit differently. Yes, Sour Cream. I agree with you. <laughs> Ephraim, that's a good comeback to that, though. Those units we saw earlier have advanced even farther into our territory. You could say this is an advanced war. This is your chance to redeem yourself, Grit. Do you understand me? Do what needs to be done. Great. So I should just wait here and... Wait? What do you mean, wait? Aren't star troops are advancing? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Understood. If duty calls, your humble, ser your humble servant grit will answer. I just heard my voice echo out of the, the Arnold Palmer can. Uh, and that, like, threw me off. If I didn't know better, I might think you weren't taking this seriously. He said the thing, yeah. Cool. So I, I, I that's neat. So there's some replayability to it. Outside of grinding for money. <coughs> Sniper! Rich troops lay low in fog of war, waiting for their shot. Another fully pre-deployed. Oh, now I get to select my, my CO. Okay. Mechanical boy, wonder with all around good skills, impulsive to fault, he's fiercely protective of those he calls friends. Enthusiastic, strong, and is loyal and earnest. He's unmatched when it comes to direct combat, but weak over distances. Oh, the animation's really good. Gotta grind for that Taco Bell money. Aw, oh, man. This is the one that's, like, vertical, right? Like, the map's tall. If I remember the original. Max might be good for, like, bum-rushing in and taking out the indirect units since they can't fight up close, but at the same time, he's got lower movement for indirects, actually. Mm. All right, let's try with Max. Hey. See what we could do. Let's roll. I've got this. Oh, yeah. Leave it to me. Good voice clips. <laughs> Hey! Still, still kind of surreal that this game's actually out. <laughs> you wouldn't think it happened. Oh no, this is different. Oh, puzzle is a stupid Ash quote I can attribute to Andy. Be or be and listen to cute and anxious bookkeeper skunk podcast. What? Oh! Caudal wag, right? I've met Call to One Person, they're pretty cool. Commander, please be advised, our vision is greatly compromised in these conditions. You can almost see nothing, sir. Okay, well it certainly looks like I have a lot of direct combat units here, so this was probably the best choice. Just our luck, more fog of war. What's well, Fog of War? Please tell me you're joking. Hasn't Nell already run you through all this? See that hazy stuff blocking your vision? That's Fog of War. And I can only guess what kind of enemy troops are hidden under there. Uh. Hidden? Well, how do we find them? Yeah, we had a Fog of War map already. Well, recon units have a pretty good vision range, so let's send those out first. If we leave them out in the open, they'll be sitting ducks. So our safest bet is to leapfrog them from the wooded area to wooded area. Units hidden in the woods are almost impossible to spot. Sounds pretty easy. Huh. Don't you realize the danger, Andy? We can hide units in the woods, and so can our opponent. If we're not careful, those enemy units will pick us off one by one. Ready to move out? And let's go. I doubt there's anything back here. I don't have to worry about that. Never have to worry about anything like that. Okay, wait. I oh, can't. See, why can't I... There should be a button to, like, switch which... Oh, because the grass... Uh, the force takes two movement, that's why. I'm like, why can't I move, uh... Like, like that into the forest? It's because it's because going through four squares takes extra movement. Yeah, I met, I met them. They, they went to, um... They went to Texas Furry Fiesta the same year I did. Right before the pandemic, actually. You know what? Let's, let's go in here. Fuck! Alright then. Mistakes were made.
Recon gets infantry. Recon's pretty much just better infantry with better uh, infantry with better movement and vision. I guess I don't keep up with Coddle's content. I know the kind of content they make, which is nice. Actually, no, this, this unit will be able to roll. Actually, no, no, it won't. feeling there's an anti-air, like, right in here somewhere. It's probably a very stupid move for me to just, like, fly right in and, and try to decimate, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, nothing near nearby, unless it's down here. Alright, looks like we might be safe. There's a unit all the way down there, but part of me doubts it. All right, we're facing Grit, not Olaf. Oh, he's got his own recons. Oh, who's? Oh, he's got a rocket. Uh oh. Those are buffed too. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. Oh, he's got another rocket. Fuck. Oh, that's not. That's really not good. Okay, thankfully he only hit the tanks and nothing major here. Better keep my, uh,. Hold my ground here. What? Oh, I guess I didn't really have enough, uh... There's the missile right there. Can't reach it, though. I only hit the recon, though. I got another one in the backup, so we should be okay. I just realized, if there's no bases, it actually doesn't show you your money. Your money's not a factor. If it, if it doesn't show up, it's not a factor. All right, rockets can't hit air. Uh, no, wait, it can. They have machine. Wait, no. What am I doing? I'm focusing on the wrong one. Yeah, they can't hit naval units, or air they can hit naval units. They can't hit air, air units. So we should be all right here, as long as they don't have missiles. Okay, that'll also block off quite a bit of their vision. in a bad position here, but... You know what? There we go. Now we got a fail-safe there. that knew I was gonna knew I was gonna get fucked 
the uh, I knew that sending that thing out there was gonna get me absolutely fucked. All right, cool. That's two units gone. Interesting. The AI isn't omniscient, omniscient anymore. Yeah, I figured. That's something I always hate about games like this. It's like you know the enemy can, the enemy AI doesn't like tr like, you know, use its own rules. Yeah, we'll totally, we'll totally respect, uh, we'll totally respect Fog of War and not fire on you. And it's like, ha ha ha. Yeah, I believe that. What's that? You got a unit in the forest there? Yeah, no, we totally can't see it. Don't worry. It's, it's cool, bro. Right, that's gone. That's gone. Might be able to take this out. Yeah, the fact that they didn't fire at all there, aside from the missile, is proof of that. Yeah. Oh, wow, this tank can actually reach. Cool. We know there's we know there's rockets up here somewhere, which don't really matter too much. Hold that one back a bit just to be safe. In fact, you know what? Make sure the APC kind of sticks close here to be the magnet. Means he's gonna use it. If he's using it, that means there's someone in range. Please just be the APC targeting unit. Nope. Of course not. There's an artillery. Okay, so that's very close by. Alright. Kind of fodder anyway. Oh no. Uh, this ain't going well. I kind of don't want to use Max Force right now because most of my units aren't going to be able to reach. He's still buffed. Uh, that anti air is gonna get me next turn. Unless, of course, that is, I move it. But there's missiles here, too, so I definitely want to pull back. There's also, there's just probably rockets right there, I'm guessing. Shoot, there goes that plan. It's gonna be a long battle. Oh, there was nothing there, okay.
But there is an anti-air in there, and we don't want to send anything capable of getting hit there. Same with the rockets. We don't want to lose our copter here. Beat out the anti air. And there's an oh, that's the same artillery. Never mind. Six. Oh, I get. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Fo the fog of war rule still applies. So, in Fog of War, normally when you back out of a move, there's no penalty, but in Fog of War, if you move to an area and then back out, it costs fuel. It costs the amount, it costs the daily fuel amount. So I went from 68 to 63 there by going in and backing out immediately. destroy it. No, it can't. Okay. Roll in. That face he makes, it's good. Hot. You, th you think everyone's hot. Not the smartest move to make, but at the same time, I don't know what else is left, really. So might destroy the airplane, the pl helicopter, but it's almost out of fuel anyway. Nope, we got it. Okay, there's still more though. Probably move these tanks in now. Probably a unit up there. Uh, Looks like it's time to regroup before we're all sent home in a one-way pine box. HP back. Okay, 
nothing there but the base. Probably something hidden at the bottom, though. Watch there be a missile up there that's just gonna take me out now. Okay. Slow and steady, soldiers. No need to embarrass them. Yep, I knew it. There's a rocket somewhere. Well, now they're useless because they took out my only aerial unit. <laughs> Kinda sucks to be grit right now. Artillery. Oh, guess what? Now it's Artilla dead. Up in there. So there's either a unit there or... They're up there, and I can't get up there now. Wow, I just realized I'd be screwed if, uh... I'd be absolutely screwed if I didn't have any, uh, foot soldiers left. Because I have no way of getting up there to take an enemy out. I don't have any missiles left. There's nothing left but whatever's on that little island up there. Oh no, never mind. He's got something. Probably, again, it's probably up there, though. In a while. Grit, is that you? I was wondering why I hadn't seen you around lately, and now I know. Turns out you're working for Blue Moon. How's that for you? How's that going for you, you traitorous piece of garp? Maxie, don't be like that. I got my reasons for doing what I do, you know? And I'm getting out of here before you start to get started. But I'm getting out of here before you get started preaching again. See you all down the road. Hold it right there, Grit. Dang, he got away. What's he doing with Blue Moon? Jock, another one up for me. Did better that time. I might have time for one more, I'm not sure. I want to stop within like 20 Rest minutes. I'm running out of opportunities and I'm running out of patience. <sighs> I don't see the need to get so worked up. 
Looks like this land was Blue Moon territory to begin with. What did you say? After all my hard work and planning. Ah, oh, come on, man. It's common theft. Let's just call it what it is. You insolent little... Whoa, hold on, Chief. Let's not get all flustered. Don't you think it's time to head out? Like you said, those Orange Star troops are practically knocking on our door. You are on the thinnest of ice, Grit. Don't go anywhere, you understand? I'll deal with you when I get back. I've been at this for what? An hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, I was gonna stop in like 20. Just short of four hours. Um, hmm. Blizzard battle. Four stars. Ugh. And there's bases. Mm, this might push back all of forces and secure 12 cities for Orange Star. Let's give it a shot. We'll see how it turns out. Alright, well, since this is going to involve Blizzard, we might as well go with Andy, because uh, Max is already going to be kind of gimped here. Andy. Max, can you both hear me? I don't know why I only voiced up the first name. Loud and clear now, what's up? I've just learned that this is a vital deployment point for Olaf. If we could drive him away from the region, we could cut the strength of his forces dramatically. Sounds great. We can finally put an end to this conflict with Olaf. That's right. We just need to capture as many locations as possible and quickly. The first army to secure 12 cities will win this battle. Stay alert and good luck. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Bases for deploying troops? Check. We're good to go. Toy Box. I'm very curious as to how Toy Box in Advance Wars 2 is going to be handled in this style because it's such a serious like story beat compared to literally everything else. Three properties. Okay, so ba any property counts. So count capturing the base is good too. Those units. I'm gonna move them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, I see. So there's always gonna be one. Let me guess. There's exactly eleven over here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no. Hmm. Well, I guess in terms of distance, he's got eleven, and we got eleven. So we're kind of at a uh, we're kind of at a stalemate in terms of like getting the properties quickly. from the beginning. Probably a smarter idea than what I'm doing. Oh, he already has six properties, though. I don't have enough for an APC.
I mean, your first couple turns, you're kind of limited here on what you could do while he's kind of just plowing through on his own end. What's this? Oh, I see. It's just a different angle on it. Mm. Mess this up. I mean, we got no firepower on our end anymore. Two, three, charge! That was a terrible read, I'm sorry. It's going to go right for that city next turn. that wall.
No! Oh, nuts. Alright. That was a mistake on my part. I'm gonna rewind. Which capture was the top option? None of, it, none of these units are indirect, so... Should be okay. Maybe now would be a good time to power. I can fix anything. Hyper repair. Also saves resource drain, because if you refill your health on a square, uh, you do... You do lose the funds. Alright, let's see how this turns out. Handy, maybe we should hyper repair Misty's bike. Afraid that unit would take it out, but it is what it is. Actually, wait, put this unit right here. Three more properties to win. So we can get that one, that one, and then we have to push in to get that one. Sent the recon unit in. That's not going to do a lot of damage. Why didn't they just send the tank in?
this APC up here. Worst. What the hell is there magic here? That's just advanced wars. is going to work. I wonder if everyone here in the field is just surviving on calorie mate bars. Probably. Chalky. They're not chalky. They're crumbly. They're pretty good, though. I've had a bunch. Remove the uh, disadvantage here. Never had one, so you don't know how they are. If you ever go to Mitsuwa, they sell them there. I gotta reset again. It's so easy to accidentally pick the wrong shit. I did not mean to target that. Sweat, drink some coffee. Yeah, it's not the healthiest thing to do. Oh, the artillery really. Oh, it's only got three health. I'm like, why is this doing so little damage?
Nice, yeah. Get a medium tank in there. We need that back up here. strong at least. Missiles. that healthy tank into the spot where the other tank is. I'm also gonna hyper repair. Time for a tune up. Hyper repair. There. Wait, don't fire. Okay, now we gotta worry about what's going on up here. Alright, let's take that out. Yeah, the animation's really good. kind of like screwed. Yeah, rockets unfortunately with the second most expensive unit. PC, I should have made one.
Yeah, they got a medium tank right there. I hate to say this. I don't... This isn't winnable. I don't think this is in any way, shape, or form winnable at this point. else to back this up either, so now I'm just a sitting duck here. Yep, we're f that's it, we're fucked. It's over. Uh, I shouldn't have bothered. I should have stopped and taken the extra 20 minutes. Sorry, almost 30 minutes now. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. There's way too much shit up here to, to take care of. You need to pay attention to the locations of the bases and cities. There are 11 properties on each side of the river dividing the map. As long as you hold all the locations on our side, you can't lose. First, concentrate on getting rid of the infantry and mech units by the bridges. After that, you can build up some firepower and cross the river to go to the on the offensive. Makes sense? Well, we finished three maps, honestly. That was as much as I was expecting to get done today. Look who's here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> the music, artwork, that's the stuff I really want. I want the COs, but they're expensive, so I don't want to spend anything until I start getting them. Paradise, the properties close to the bridge should be the first target. Yeah, I need to secure because if they start sending troops out there, as long as there's n as long as they don't have room to put a put infantry or mechs there, and I capture that city, then they're not going to benefit by sending, you know, heavy artillery out there. Yeah. Y'all come back now. Doo -doo. Cool. Well. We made progress, at least. We, made, we got through three maps. That's honestly as much as I was expecting to get through. Uh, we couldn't pull the fourth one off. But yeah, this was great. Thank you so much for helping and uh, coming by. I appreciate it. Um, I will hopefully be back tomorrow and Friday. Gonna do the same exact thing. Kirby for two hours, then Advance Wars for two hours. And uh, yeah, that'll that'll be what come, happens this week. Again, won't, will not be here this Saturday. Probably will not be here Sunday. Next week, more of both of them. Next weekend will be the charity stream on Sunday. And then after that, uh, I'm heading off uh, after Tuesday for a week. And then uh, when I come back, Tears of the Kingdom and, uh, and some other fun stuff. But yeah, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep this going. Thank you so much for coming, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. I like people streaming there right now. I, we actually have enough for a raid here, enough people to justify raiding. So I'm going to see who's playing... See who's streaming. Uh, we got Deep Rock Galactic, Final Fantasy XII, Rocket League, VR Chat, Art, Legend of Zelda, Rogue Legacy. Oh, that's me. I'm like, oh, who's playing Advance Wars? Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> Alright. We're, we're grading Mouse. They're playing uh, Final Fantasy XII. So stick around, say hi to them. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm absolutely con committing to streaming the rest of this week. Don't worry. So you'll be seeing more of both Kirby and Advance Wars very, very soon. Take care. You all have a great evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.